In this video, we are going to discuss the sulci, gyri and functional areas of the cerebral hemisphere. So this is the brain with the two cerebral hemispheres and this fissure is called the median longitudinal fissure and this border is called as the superomedial border. This is the superomedial border. This fissure is the superior longitudinal fissure where this is the corpus callosum connecting the two cerebral hemispheres. So here the brain has got the superolateral surface then there is the medial surface this is the another brain wherein the section is being done this is the medial surface this is the superolateral surface and here we will see the inferior surface. Inferior surface is again divided into orbital surface and tentorial surface. This one or in this we can see it better. This is the orbital surface and this is the tentor occipito tentoral or tentorial surface. This one. Okay. So one, now we will see the sulci gyri on the superolateral surface. So superolateral surface, uh, firstly basically there are three sulci which will divide each cerebral hemisphere into different lobes. The one uh, which will be cutting the superomedial border is this is the central sulcus. This one is the central sulcus. The location of the central sulcus will be this is the frontal pole and this is the occipital pole. So in between these two poles the midpoint will be this one. And 1 centimeter behind the midpoint you will see the central sulcus. This is one main sulcus. Another one is the lateral sulcus. This is the lateral sulcus here. So lateral sulcus will start on the inferior surface here. This is the stem of the lateral sulcus. And uh, it will have three ramae. This is called as anterior horizontal this is anterior ascending and then this is the posterior ramus. This one is the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus. So stem on the inferior surface. Then there is anterior horizontal, anterior ascending and posterior ramus. These are the parts of the lateral sulcus. So once you reflect the two lips of the lateral sulcus, this area that you see here after removing the blood vessels, this is called as the island of real or central lobe or insular cortex. This is the insular cortex. So this is visible because it is hidden. You have to reflect the two lips of the lateral sulcus to visualize this central lobe. Central lobe has got an anterior lobe. This is anterior and this is posterior. So that is by the location and then you will see gyri bravia and gyri longa. These are gyri longa, smaller ones are gyri bravia. This is the insular cortex. Then and one more important sulcus, it is the parieto occipital sulcus, here this one. Uh, this is the uh, anterior part, this is the posterior part. In the posterior part, here we will see the parieto occipital sulcus. The parieto occipital sulcus is clearly visible on the medial surface of the brain. This is the medial surface, this is a corpus callosum. So here if you see the major portion of the parieto occipital sulcus is visualized on the medial surface and some part will be extended onto the superolateral surface. Okay. So these um, sulci, central sulcus, this one is the central sulcus the lateral sulcus and the parieto occipital sulcus. So one imaginary line is drawn from this parieto occipital sulcus to the preoccipital notch. If you just see the brain, this is the inferolateral border, cerebellum. So here we will see the occipital pole and this area is called as preoccipital notch. An imaginary line drawn from this parieto occipital sulcus to the preoccipital notch, it will separate the occipital lobe. 
one more imaginary line drawn from the lateral sulcus the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus to this first imaginary line it will separate the temporal lobe and the one which is anterior to the central sulcus this complete thing is the frontal lobe and the one behind the central sulcus till the first imaginary line this is all the parietal lobe this is the division of the lobes so now in each lobe what are the sulci and gyri we will see so in front of the central sulcus there is a precentral sulcus this one and in between the central and precentral this is called as the precentral gyrus this one is the precentral gyrus this is the precentral sulcus <coughs> then this is the superior temporal gyrus this one is the superior temporal sulcus middle front uh, sorry this one is the superior frontal gyrus inferior frontal sulcus so in that so in the frontal lobe this is the precentral gyrus and precentral sulcus another sulci which are seen are this is the superior frontal sulcus inferior frontal sulcus with superior frontal gyrus middle frontal gyrus and inferior frontal gyrus three gyri are there in the frontal lobe this inferior frontal gyrus with the presence of anterior horizontal and anterior ascending uh, rami of the lateral sulcus it is again divided into pars orbitalis pars triangularis and pars opercularis three areas are seen in the inferior frontal gyrus pars orbitalis triangularis and pars opercularis these are the sulci and gyri in the frontal lobe coming to the parietal lobe parietal lobe is behind the central sulcus this is the central sulcus so behind that this is the post central gyrus and post central sulcus this is the post central sulcus with the post central gyrus and there is an intra parietal sulcus this is the intra parietal sulcus dividing the parietal lobe into a superior parietal lobule and an inferior parietal lobule superior and inferior inferior parietal lobule again we will see that the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus is extended upwards and also the superior temporal sulcus is also extended upwards like this okay so the gyri which is surrounding the end or terminal portion of the posterior ramus of lateral sulcus this is called as supra marginal gyrus and the one which is surrounding the posterior end of the superior temporal sulcus this is called as the angular gyrus angular gyrus and supra marginal gyrus so these are the things in the parietal lobe coming to the temporal lobe this is the lateral sulcus and beneath the lateral sulcus this is the uh temporal lobe <coughs> so temporal lobe it will have the superior temporal sulcus and inferior temporal sulcus superior and inferior temporal sulcus with superior temporal gyrus middle temporal gyrus and inferior temporal gyrus this is the temporal lobe coming to the occipital lobe occipital lobe on the medial surface it will show a calcarine sulcus this is the calcarine sulcus parieto occipital sulcus calcarine sulcus and uh, then on the superolateral surface we will see a lateral occipital sulcus and a lunate sulcus lunate sulcus lateral occipital sulcus these are the sulci in the occipital lobe then um, <coughs> the area between the preoccipital uh, uh, sorry parieto occipital sulcus and the calcarine sulcus this area is called as the cuneus and the one in front it is called as the precuneus 
this is the precuneus which is having a supraspleneal sulcus this is the supraspleneal sulcus so this surface is the medial surface that we are seeing on the medial surface in, in the anterior portion here the area that we see in front of the precuneus this is called as medial frontal gyrus this is called medial frontal gyrus and then this is called as the cingulate gyrus this is cingulate sulcus cingulate gyrus cingulate sulcus the one the sulcus which is above the corpus callosum this is called as callosal sulcus and this is the corpus callosum with the anterior portion this is the rostrum genu trunk and splenium of the corpus callosum this is the thalamus with the interthalamic adhesion here this is the cavity of the telencephalon this is the lateral ventricle with its uh, anterior horn posterior horn and inferior horn of the lateral ventricle so this are the other part that we'll see on the medial uh, surface is uh, surrounding the central sulcus this one is the central sulcus which is cutting the uh, superior medial border so surrounding this central sulcus this area is called as paracentral lobule this is paracentral lobule so these are the sulci and gyri on the medial surface now coming to the sulci and gyri on the inferior surface inferior surface this is the base of the brain here we are seeing this one is the olfactory bulb with the olfactory tract present in the olfactory sulcus this sulcus is called as olfactory sulcus and the gyrus which is medial to the olfactory sulcus is called as gyri rectus this one and in the olfactory sulcus we'll see the olfactory bulb with the tract this is the orbital surface of the inferior surface wherein we will see this is again one more orbital surface of the left hemisphere so here we are seeing a h shaped orbital sulcus this is the h shaped orbital sulcus so it will divide the orbital surface into anterior posterior medial and lateral orbital gyri this is the orbital surface then coming to the tentorial surface here this is the tentorial surface uh, tentorial surface here we are seeing the collateral sulcus this is called as collateral sulcus other one is occipito temporal sulcus two sulci we will see here one is the collateral sulcus which is medially present it is not very clear in this so here we will see this is the collateral sulcus and here this is the hippocampal area this one and here this is the occipito temporal sulcus dividing it into medial occipito temporal gyrus lateral occipito temporal gyrus these are the sulci and gyri on the inferior surface so in this video we are going to see the functional areas of the cerebral hemisphere basically the functional areas are divided into motor areas sensory areas and psychical areas and association areas so the motor areas are primary motor area pre motor